daughters are not a liability the supreme court said on friday while dealing with a matter relating to payment of maintenance to a woman by her estranged father after her mother's demise during the proceeding before a bench of justices dy chandrachur and as bopan on friday the counsel appearing for the estranged father surprisingly said that the daughter is a liability however justice chandrachur at this moment was quick to retort that daughters are not a liability while adding that the counsel should have a good look at article 14 of the indian constitution which guarantees every citizen equality before the law in this case the counsel appearing for the daughter had apprised the supreme court back in october 2020 that the estranged father had not paid the arrears of maintenance computed at rupees 8000 per month for the daughter and rupees 400 per month for the wife after april 2018 the bench thereafter on october 5th 2020 had directed the estranged father to pay an amount of rupees 2 lakh 50000 to both the daughter and the wife within a period of 2 weeks later when the matter came up for hearing in may this year the bench was informed that the wife had died last year on september 6th a grievance was also raised by the daughter that the previously ordered arrears of maintenance had not been paid by the estranged father on the contrary the counsel for the estranged father had contended that his client had duly paid the arrears of maintenance and had also referred to the bank statements in this regard noting this inconsistency the bench in its may order had asked the registrar to prepare a factual report after ascertaining the position from the counsels appearing for the petitioner and the respondent within a period of 8 weeks when the matter came up for hearing on friday The bench was informed that the daughter is a lawyer and has cleared the prelims of a judicial service examination. On learning this, Justice Chandrachur advised the daughter to study hard for her exams and do well for herself so that she does not have to depend on her estranged father. Addressing the father, Justice Chandrachur also remarked that he should be proud of having a daughter who is a judicial aspirant. After the bench was further informed that the father and daughter had not spoken to each other in a really long time the bench suggested that they keep their differences aside and talk accordingly before parting with the matter the court directed the concerned counsels to take the father daughter duo to the canteen in the court's premises so that they can converse with each other while adding that the counsels should act as officers of the court instead of lawyers for the parties Thank you. I'm Aratra Kapoor reporting for Live Law. Let us know what you think of this very interesting courtroom exchange in the comments below.